Ho ho holy cow! We're reading some brightly colored snakes this holiday season on the Nature Center YouTube channel. Welcome once again to the YYC Nature and Education Center and Calgary Reptile Party's YouTube channel. And uh, happy holidays, whatever you are celebrating uh, this time of year. Uh, we hope that you and your family are having a wonderful holiday season and enjoying friends and family and for some people, reptiles. Uh, this week, I thought we would kind of tie into the season. You know, when you think of Christmas, you think of you know, red, white, green. So I wanted to introduce some snakes that all have similar color patterns that are all brightly colored and explain a bit about them and why they have that. And the fact that other than being colubrids, two of the four are not closely related. So I'm starting with this little beauty here. This is our male tricolor hognose snake. So they get their name because they have a little upturned uh, tough scale on the front of their nose. That helps them dig and burrow. Uh, it is a common trait among a few different species of snakes. There are eastern and western hognose snakes in North America. There are Malagasy and golden hognose snakes found in Madagascar. These guys are found throughout South America. None of them are related closely but they all have that upturned nose. And as well, this is the one snake I'm gonna show you in this video that is venomous. So the back of its mouth, it has two small teeth that are attached to something called the Duvroy's gland, which is a venom gland. The venom is very mild. They basically have to chew it in and it's just meant to subdue prey. So even if it did get a hold of me, it would be very hard for it to get its mouth far enough onto my finger or hand to inject the venom. And if it did inject the venom, it's, it's very, very mild. Tricolor hognose snakes uh, can be a good choice for a pet snake. The males tend to be smaller than the females. At most, they're about two feet, so a nice small snake. Uh, pretty docile, they do tend to burrow, so you don't necessarily see them a lot. Now, one of the things I talk about in a lot of my videos in pretty much all of our programming is how long so many snakes live. Uh, the other ones we're gonna meet can easily have 15 to potentially 30 year lifespans, depending on the species. For whatever reason, the tricolor hognose snakes cap out at about seven to eight years, so it's a much shorter commitment than a lot of the other snakes. So why do they have these bright colors? Well, I'm going to talk about that with our next snake. This is such a Christmassy looking snake. This is a Terra Humara mountain king snake. Uh, there's lots of different types of mountain king snakes with similar colors. A lot of them are found in Arizona. Uh, this one specifically is found in the Chihuahua Desert in uh, Mexico. Uh, Gordon here is a bit of an old man. Uh, we're not entirely sure how old he is, but uh, the previous person who owned him did have him for a while and she was his second or third owner. Uh, he is actually blind in one eye. Uh, so his eye is completely white on one side. Uh, doesn't stop him from uh, still thriving and doing well. Uh, he has no problem catching, well, not catching food because we feed frozen thawed, but, you know, when we offer to pray, we're not having to, like, try and... He, do he doesn't have to work hard to find it and grab it and constrict. So, king snakes get their name because one of the things we eat in the wild is other snakes, which is pretty smart because by eating another snake, there's no annoying feeder claws to get in the way. It's like slurping a big piece of spaghetti. Uh, they are even immune to venom, so they need a venomous snake, and if it doesn't, if they get bit, it doesn't hurt them. Uh, king snakes, lots of different kinds, great choice for a pet. One of the things though, as we're coming up on Christmas, a lot of people consider getting pets for Christmas. You know, Christmas is such an exciting time and there's so much going on. It's not a great time to bring a pet into your family. Uh, snakes can be awesome pets, but unfortunately we see a lot of them that end up being unwanted or people get them and the novelty wears off. So it's so important that you do your research and your homework before bringing home a pet. 
Um, I see all the time where people are like, oh, you know, I don't have time to give my snake love and attention. They don't care about love and attention. A properly sized habitat, a good heat gradient, water and food, and they're happy. That's one of the nice things about these snakes. So bright colors in nature mean danger. So all the snakes you're seeing in this video are brightly colored. While the hognose snake is venomous, this snake is not, and neither are our last two. All right, so our holiday themed snakes wrap up with these two here. This is a Honduran milk snake, so found in Honduras. This is a Publin milk snake found in Mexico. So milk snakes uh, get their name because they bring all the boys to the yard. That's a joke for the early 2000s fans. I actually did name this snake Khalees after uh, the singer of the famous song Milkshake. Uh, it's a joke that actually works really well. Uh, the kids don't get it, but the adults end up cracking up, which is, you know, always entertaining. So why are these, they these colors? There's actually a poll. Uh, red on yellow, kill a fellow. Red on black, you're safe, Jack. So all of these snakes have had the black touching yellow, or in this case with a Honduran, more of like an orange color. That means that they are harmless. If it was red touching yellow, that's a coral snake. Coral snakes are venomous snakes. They are in the same family as sea snakes and cobras, which is a lapidae. Fortunately, coral snakes tend to be fairly shy snakes uh, compared to, you know, other snakes like uh, cobras and crates and stuff in South America or uh, Asia or even rattlesnakes in, in uh, the States. Um, people often don't come across the coral snakes. They seem really hesitant to bite uh, compared to other snakes. So they're very shy. So there's not a ton of coral snake bites compared to other venomous snake bites. That said, uh, that rule goes straight out the window once you start to get into South America, where there are coral snakes who are red touching black. So don't follow that poem. If you see a brightly colored snake, probably just leave it alone, because the best way to not be bit by a snake is to leave the snake alone, whether it's venomous or non-venomous. So milk snakes uh, are named because farmers would find them in their barns and their fields, and they thought they were drinking milk. People have believed a lot of really weird stuff over history. Um, so no, these guys don't latch on to, uh, the snake is going into the tree. <laughs> they don't latch on to uh, udders and drink milk. They just, for whatever reason, well, they're there hunting for rodents, but for whatever reason, they got the name milk snake, which is really kind of weird. Lots of different types of milk snakes, uh, a lot of different morphs of milk snakes, especially the Hondurans. Uh, there's like um, albino, and uh, there is, I believe, um, exanthic. So lots of cool choices with these guys. Um, maybe not as commonly kept as the kings and the corns, but definitely a, a rewarding snake to keep. So someone who wants something a little bit different, a little bit brighter colored, uh, milk snake might be the right choice of pet for you. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed meeting some of our colorful snakes. Uh, you know, bright, bold, beautiful colors is one of the nice things that really attracts people to snakes as pets. And with these guys, these are their natural colors. So it's not morphs, they're not selectively bred. This is the same color you would find them being in the wild. So if you want a naturally colored snake that is absolutely stunning, uh, milk snakes can be a great choice. If you'd like to meet our milk snakes and some of our other animals, you can definitely check out our uh, facility, our nature center in Calgary. Uh, we have public events and private bookings available. We do birthday parties, we have different themes, we have adults only nights. So lots of cool, fun things to learn about and experience. And we just, you know, we're lucky. We, we love what we do. We love educating people about these animals. It's really special to us. And so each and every person that subscribes or watches our videos, you know, we know that we're getting people from around the world that are seeing what we're doing. That really means a lot. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit the, um, hit the bell so you know that there's new videos. You can also support us on Patreon. Uh, that info is down below. Just three bucks, six bucks, or ten bucks a month helps feed our animals. Gives you lots of cool content. 
And as well, we have our socials, so check it out below our uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram, everything like that. Uh, we have someone who's absolutely phenomenal named Emma who's doing our, our Instagram and has just ramped up some really creative, fun stuff uh, on there. So, you know, even if you're not in Calgary, you can support us that way and check things out. And we look forward to showing you another video soon. So, again, happy holidays. Enjoy your Christmas or whatever you're celebrating, and we'll see you next time.